Santa's sleigh has been undergoing maintenance in Canada, but I have to deliver it to a secret location so Santa can be on his way and get ready for Christmas. This is American Truck Simulator and I'm going to be hauling Santa's sleigh today. I'm in my Kenworth W900. As you can see, I've got a beautiful Christmas skin and some reindeer antlers. This truck is really, really cool. And we are in, I don't know where are we? Uh, we are in Coquitlam, Canada. I'm in Primoz, Canada. I've got the frosty weather on. It looks really, really cool. And I found an epic mod which brings Santa's sleigh into the game. Okay, here is where we're picking up Santa's sleigh. It's Ikea. So it looks like the elves have outsourced themselves to Ikea. Looks like they, I don't know. There it is. I can see Santa's sleigh. Oh, it's gonna be exciting. Here we go. Turn left, whoa. Traffic, what are you doing? Oh, the frosty weather. We've got frosty physics on, which means it's very difficult to stop in the snow. This guy's gonna let me go, weirdly. Thank you. There we go. So, Ikea. I don't know why they chose Ikea to restore Santa's sleigh, but there you go. Maybe they've got, I don't know, woodwork skills. Oh, stop. Oh, the snow. Okay, here it is. Santa's sleigh. So we're going from Coquitlam to Vernon, British Columbia. Oh, yes. So Pro Mods Canada is really, really awesome. I've got an epic selection of mods. I'll leave information about it in the description down below. And go and check out the Santa's Sleigh workshop page because I believe it's being done for charity, like a, I think it's Make-A-Wish Foundation are doing something. Uh, how am I gonna... Oh, this is really tight. Oh my goodness. They really tucked it in the corner, didn't they? There it is, Santa's Sleigh. Hauling for Santa, oh yes. Okay, here we go. I love the livery on this truck. This is from the Christmas DLC, the uh, Paint Jobs DLC. It's got Santa like on there and then Merry Christmas on the side. It's great. Okay. I love this Kenworth too. Very retro looking. Here we go. Oh, yes. We're going to explore Canada together and deliver Santa's sleigh to that secret location so he can be ready for Christmas. And well, I just had a thought. People are going to see us driving around with Santa's sleigh. So it's not that secret, is it? Anyway. So yeah, happy Christmas, if you celebrate Christmas. I'll be having a good festive time. I'm gonna be doing a few Christmassy videos over the next few days. Oh yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And this is just the first, I believe. Right, let's do it. Powerful Kenworth truck here, but it's not very heavy, Santa's sleigh. Seven tons, so it's a lightweight sleigh. I guess the reindeer aren't, they don't want anything heavier than that, do they? Oh yeah. And we're driving through Promods Canada, so I really love this map. And with the frosty weather pack, which adds physics, um, all the tires of cars are all snowy. It looks really, really nice. And there sh should be some really interesting scenery today. Oh yeah. I played a bit of this with Simulated Heaven earlier. We did it in Convoy. I've got to keep left, just remembered. Um, we had some good fun around here. It's a brilliant map for convoying. It's uh, beautiful. The scenery like changes wildly. You get beautiful mountains, mountains with like ski resorts and cable cars and everything. And look at this bridge. This bridge looks epic. I wonder if they'll ever actually add, um, what do you call it, uh, Canada to American Truck Simulator as like a DLC. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Oh yes. Whoa, look at this. That is just awesome. And this bridge, wow. Kenworth, just like mine. So I literally just bought this truck. I thought it'd be brilliant for this video. It is the perfect Christmassy truck. And the reindeer antlers are part of the, um, a part of a mod. I'll leave it, a link to it in the description down below. I love accessories like that. Just fun accessories that really liven up the way the truck looks. Okay, keep left. So we're going to Vernon. Whoa, this road layout. The cars have had an accident or maybe they're just waiting for Santa's sleigh to come through. Yeah. So they use kilometers per hour in um, Canada? I didn't know that. I thought they only used them in like, what do you call it? Um, Quebec or the French region. Yeah, the, the traffic likes to have accidents on this map just because I've got the frosty weather on and it really changes the physics. So when you try and brake, like that's full brake, nothing's happening. It's really slow to brake. But that's realistic, isn't it? 
Oh yeah, I can see the mountains appearing. Oh. What's happening? Oh dear, fire truck. Santa to the rescue, no. What's happened here? Ooh, I've done, done. Oh! Ooh! I, yeah, that's not gone well. Sorry. I didn't get any damage though, and, and didn't get a fine either. Anyway, can I have a quick drink? I'll make some sneak. Their uh, breakfast orange flavour, which is new and it's absolutely delicious. Really just, it really does taste like freshly squeezed orange juice, but it's um, a caffeinated drink. So, I, I drink it instead of coffee. Keep left. Oh yeah. So the USA border's just down there. Look, the Canadian flag there, it's beautiful. So it's really, really cool. As you can see, the landscape is really starting to liven up. We've got these beautiful hills. It really does look amazing. The frosty weather changes everything. The roads, the rocks, the trees, grass. It just makes everything so special and wintry. It's great. And on that website, they actually have the option to have like spring weather, fall weather, or autumn weather. It's amazing. Oh, we've got a bit of a hill here. Come on. This thing is pretty powerful, but um, Santa's sleigh, you know, not the heaviest load. We should be able to do all these hills absolutely fine. All the roads are open, good. I hope we don't get any snow because that would be... It gets treacherous, like you can't see the cars in front of you with this weather pack. It's ridiculous. I drove it earlier and it was, wow. So much snow. Got my G27, I'm also using Track IR as always. I like having the wheel cam on when I'm doing a video like this. Um, I don't usually do the face cam outside of a live stream anymore. Um, I don't know what it... Does it add much to a video like this? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, G27 will be 10 years old next year. Craziness. This Christmas I'll be getting a, um, a bit of new kit, a pair of rudder pedals for flight sim. So I want to get back into flight sims. If you like the flight sim content, then you'll probably be very excited to hear that because that'll mean more flight sim stuff, more realistic flight sim stuff. I'll be doing lots of little planes around, you know, short routes. Maybe exploring some Canada. That'd be great. There's some beautiful scenery in Canada that I could explore in Flight Sim. I don't know if I've got my mirrors set up correctly. They don't look uh, all that good, do they? Anyway, how's Santa Slay doing? So we've also got some presents back here as well. Um, I don't know if they're going to be delivered or I don't know what, what, what's in there. Spare parts for the sleigh? Who knows? But, yeah. Here we go. Let's just get in the right lane. Oh, we've got uh, we've got a traffic jam. Right, I'm braking hard. I'm braking hard. I'm really braking hard. That's full brake. Uh, let's get in the right lane. So I've got an 18-speed gearbox, and I think the 500 horsepower Cummins engine. I'm not 100% sure, though. Oh, we've got a detour. Come on then. I usually don't take the detours, but today we are going to. Oh dear. What's happened? GPS signal lost. You don't really find out unless you actually drive past the barriers and go and have a look. But sometimes you can't get past. It's like a uh, helicopter in the middle of the road and you just can't get past. It's really funny. Oh, these beautiful forests. This is amazing. This is just incredible. Winter Wonderland. That, that uh, detour has increased the time that this is going to take by about an hour, in-game that is. But um, that's fine, I'm enjoying it. I'm getting to grips with my truck. What kind of menus have we got here? If you do zoom, we can have a better look. Oil temperature, fuel distance, uh, cruise control, yeah, that's pretty standard. And then a time. So we're going to leave it on the trip economy. 6.7 miles per gallon isn't bad, I suppose. Pepsi. Oh my goodness, Pe Pepsi did an advert this Christmas. Um, where they're doing this pilk thing, like, you know, Pepsi and milk. And it had Lindsay Lohan, the advert. Oh my goodness, that was weird. I don't even know if it tastes nice. Apparently it tastes awful. Pilk. It's just, they're, they're just embracing a meme as most 
Christmas ads do these days, I suppose. Kind of ruins it though, doesn't it? As soon as they embrace it, I mean, kind of dies, but there you go. Oh yeah. Look at how plush it is in here as well, like the wood and the, like, I don't know, the leather. Oh wow. Look at it back there. You have like a, I don't know, can you put a bunk bed up there? Probably, maybe. Oh, wow. The scenery here, the Promos Canada really is as good quality as uh, the stock of, you know, the DLC packs that SCS Software make. And I saw a third party map expansion for Alaska, but it's $20. This is free, by the way. Promos Canada is free. Ooh, we hit someone with. Don't damage Santa's sleigh. Um, this map expansion is free. I believe you need Oregon and Washington, that's it. Just because you have to use those to travel to Canada. Um, but it's amazing. I haven't tried the Alaska map. Uh, it does look quite high quality. It's like all off-road and sort of like ice road truckers kind of style. But uh, yeah, quite expensive. $20. Oh my goodness. And I can see it getting a little bit frosty and foggy. So it's going to be... An interesting journey as we continue. Oh, please pull over and perform a brake check. What the heck? I've never seen that before. Is that is that part of this map? I think it might be part of this map. Well, the brakes are already really bad on this map, so that's interesting. Brake check. Bro. Not that kind of brake check. This kind of brake check. Because we're going down a massive hill. Oh, my goodness. Stop. Oh. Look, there's the sleigh. Oh, that's really cool. We got a good look at the sleigh, actually. God, it looks really cool, doesn't it? Massive presents, though. I don't know how they're going to fit all the other presents in there. But there you go. That's fine. All right, let's go. All right, we'll, come on. Oh, brake. I oh, see. I just did a brake check, and then the brakes fail like that. Yeah, not good. Here we go. Downhill. This is going to be really dangerous because lippy weather here, really icy conditions. Here we go. Oh, I think it's fine. Let's give it a bit of brakes. So you can see the brake pressure, pressure gauge there. Look, that's kind of cool. You can see that. Yeah, it's not that bad a hill, is it? Not bad at all. Oh. The, the handling's not too bad in the snow, but it's not... Hmm. I'm just a little bit worried we're going to slide off the road or something. Okay. I think we made it down. The rest of the hill... Uh, still a little bit steep. I think we're going a bit fast on these kind of rural roads. Uh, it says 31. Oh, now it says 80. That's weird. The speed limits change a lot. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. The sunset there. Oh, lovely. It's almost like the Northern Lights, but red. It's craziness. Can the Northern Lights be red, or are they just green? I don't know. You'd probably see them in this part of the uh, world, wouldn't you? Ooh, a holiday in! Yay! I've also got a mod that changes all the different brands and stuff. That's on the Steam Workshop. I mean, most of my mods go from the Steam Workshop just because of how easy they are to install. Stuff like that. Uh, here we go. Indicate left. None of these towns have traffic lights, just these weird blinky things, which I don't know what they mean. Give way, maybe? I don't know. Alright, just 100 miles left. And then Santa's sleigh will be delivered for Santa to be ready for the big day. Whoa. We're going on another wild adventure on a country lane for a forest and more beautiful scenery oh my goodness wow it's got dark like really suddenly oh my good whoa starting to see the corners of the road wow it's got dark really suddenly oh my goodness let's just overtake this guy so we've got the road ahead of us clear come on come on Kenworth come on Oh, there we go. I think they actually have a 
dual lane on their side of the road so I was lucky not to see someone on my side of the road there Ooh. oh no we don't have to weigh ourselves do we I hope not ah we can bypass good anyone coming yes stop that's full brakes oh my thank goodness that guy stopped I was on full brakes I just didn't wasn't thinking we don't want to end in disaster here with Santa's sleigh, otherwise that would ruin a lot of Christmases. All right, less than an hour to go in game. We're on the highway to Vernon, just 37 miles left. This is really, really cool. I have to say this map is like graphically quite intensive. Um, more so perhaps than some of the base game DLC, just because, I don't know. It might be because it's not as well optimized, but you know, I'm running quite a few mods here, I've got the Frosty mod on obviously, and that's, uh, you know, the textures are really high quality, so maybe that's something to do with it. Wow. I am also recording, that always harms the FPS. God, where are we? Uh, can I put the map on? Yeah, we, we just got Kelowna, and then it's Vernon. Right, so we've got one town in between us, and the other one, okay. Oh yeah. When Nike advert, um, feeling drowsy, rest at the next truck stop. Whoa, whoa, it's feeling a bit slippy. There we go. Regain control of the truck. It's minus, what is that, eight? Nine, minus nine outside, wow. Okay. I guess it's gonna get a lot colder. Uh, it's only 7.30 at night. Oh, another bridge by the looks. I don't think the water freezes with this uh, this pack, but still, it's pretty cool. Look at this traffic. Just got one more turn, but we might not get through these traffic lights. Yeah, come on. Got a rendezvous with Santa here. Oh, no, don't cross the road. Ah! I didn't get a fine there. That was interesting. Here we go. The home stretch. Santa expects us by, I don't know, 9 o'clock in-game. I think we'll make it. Here we go. So it's been really, really fun. I, I'm going to be using this truck quite a bit more. If you want to see me do some more American Truck Simulator, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing live streams of this game because uh, it's a game I've historically done on the channel. It's you know, something I really do like to play live um, and it's just so much fun there's so much to explore so much to do and you guys can maybe suggest me some truck mods or whatever mods you want to see me um, use in this game the first things first let's go drop off the sleigh for Santa I've got this realistic traffic density mod and look at what it does can we there's a brick wall there, I can't get past. Oh, there's a guy in it. Wow, that is bold. It's minus nine outside, and this guy, it, it's in a Mustang convertible. That is, yeah. Here we go. Past the gas station. Over the train tracks. Here we go. What a cool town. Low FPS, but still a cool town. In 50 feet, turn left. Oh my goodness. 50 feet turn left, sure. Up here. Here we go. Wow, the Santa. Give me my, F my FPS back. Oh my, I've never seen it this low. What the heck? Turn right. I wonder why that is. Santa! All I want for Christmas is FPS. Nothing coming, I don't think. No, we're good. I did get a red signal offence though, that's funny. What the heck? My, my, my case on my computer was just flash, flashing. Then, when I got fined, what the heck? I didn't know it did that. So do it again. Do it again. I don't have any like setup for that, either. I don't remember there being like an app on my computer that would do that. That is odd. Okay, well here we go. So where are we even delivering it to? It's a Walmart, sure. Santa's That's secret right. drop-off location is a Walmart. Of course it is. I knew that. I totally planned that. 
Wow. There's even people walking around. Like they're just going to spot Santa Slay, and the game's up. Turn left. Come on. Do 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 do. Welcome to Walmart. Stop. Okay, we've got to park it perfectly for Santa. And he's going to pick up the sleigh with his reindeer. And then prepare for his journey on the 24th and the 25th. Here we go. Um, so if I just go over here somewhere. This usually works if you go to the very far corner. Then you can kind of see. I'm going to have to... If you can't look behind because of the uh, exhaust pipes. So I'm just going to do this. There you go, Santa's sleigh is being delivered perfectly by Simulator Adventures Trucking. Next to the beer crates, that's good. Just what Santa wanted. He said, Simulator Adventures, park it next to the beer crates. There we go, well there we go, Santa's sleigh officially delivered. And we got, how much did we get for this? 16 grand, not bad. Well, there we go, Santa's sleigh is officially delivered. We have had a really good time driving around Canada today, and he's gonna go and get ready for his big journey on the 24th of December. If you want to see some more American Truck Simulator, why not click the video on screen right now? I do something very different. I drive an RV um, on holiday, on vacation. It's a really, really cool video. Thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying the American Truck Sim content, make sure to like the video and comment down below. Come and join my Discord server. There's a link to it in the description. And I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.